Hi, I'm Heather from Car Seat Blog. We're going to take a look at the Maxi Cozy Coral XP and how to adjust its harness strap height. Our friend Romeo is going to help us out today. And if you take a look at him, it looks like he fits correctly in the car seat. The harness is adjusted snugly and properly. But if you also take a little bit closer look at him, it looks like he's a little squished in the seat. Look at the padding around him. The head pad piece, the head padding, is a little bit below his shoulders. It doesn't quite fit him correctly. It's, it just makes him look a little squished in there. And the harness straps are a little bit low on his shoulders. So we're gonna take a look at maybe the next slot up and see if that might fit him a little bit better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen the harness, I'm gonna remove this head pad, and we'll see if the next slot fits. So first, we're gonna find the adjuster, which is right here. We're gonna press the button and pull on the chest clip, and that will loosen the harness for us. Very nice and smooth and easy. And this piece actually just pulls right out. It's not attached to anything, it just loops around the harness. So I'll put that right there. And if you take a look, and he's a doll, so it's gonna be a little bit difficult to see on him, but this harness strap, there are two sets of, there are three sets of slots on the car seat. And he's using the one that's at the very bottom. But the next set of slots up, his shoulders are actually, if he's not squished down into the seat, because he is, because of the, that harness pulling him down, his shoulders are actually above the second set of slots. So that's going to fit him best. On rear-facing car seats, whether it's a rear-facing only seat like this or a rear-facing convertible seat, infants or children will fit best using the slots at or below their shoulders. And the reason being is because the majority of crashes are frontal crashes. That's statistics speaking right there. And we play statistics when we talk child passenger safety. So. Physics tell us that anything goes towards the point of contact. So in a crash, everything's going to go towards the front of the car because frontal crash, right? So the car seat is gonna tip down like this and the child is going to slide up the seat like this. So that's why we want that harness to be at or below the shoulders because it's gonna wrap around their shoulder and hold them down in the seat. That wrapping around their shoulder is the important part. Now, we don't want the harness to be too far below their shoulder. If it's too far below their shoulder, we can have problems placing them in the seat. The harness can slide off their shoulder because when it's properly snug, because it's too far below their shoulder, it tends to slide off or when the harness is too far below their shoulder, it's just harder to place on there. So by using the harness slot that's closest to their shoulder, but still at or below, and remember, when they're right at that slot, kids tend to snuggle down into their seat, you know? Think about the way you sit into a seat or a chair. You tend to get comfortable and you kind of slouch down just a little bit. Kids do that too. So give them a second to, to get comfortable in the car seat and then check and see where they are in relation to that slot. Okay, so we know he is just right at that second slot, so we can change it. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm gonna take him out. Thank you, Romeo. I'm gonna remove this second pad right here it just comes out really easily it's not again it's not in there with any velcro or anything and i need to access the back of the car seat in order to change the harness slots but wait there are no harness slots on this this is the feature of the coral xp it's a two-in-one car seat so it's got the inside carrier and the outside carrier. So that's the cool feature about this car seat. This outside carrier portion stays in the car. So on the 
outside portion where the feet go, right, right over here on the corners on each side. Grab these inside handles. There's a, a lever right here on each side. You only have to press one. Press that lever and the seat lifts right out. So I'm just gonna set the outside carrier aside. And now we have the inside carrier, and this is the working portion of the car seat. And so here we have, if we turn it over, we have our slots, and this is where we're going to make our adjustments. So you need this harness loose in order to make the adjustments. If the harness is tight, you're not going to be able to make any adjustments to the harness height. You need to be able to have access to the splitter plate, which is where each harness piece connects to this harness adjuster strap. So make sure that your harness is loose. So press that harness adjuster button, pull the harness loose, and then turn the car seat over. So we're gonna put it into these second slots. Now when you get good at this and when you get going, you can do this in less than a minute. So it's super easy to do. So on the splitter plate right here, just slide it off, grab it from the front side of the seat, and slide it through the second slot. You need to make sure that you're in both the second slot in the fabric and in the plastic. They have to match up. Otherwise, there can be problems with the fabric getting in, you know, causing problems during a crash. So. It can bunch up or whatever. So make sure that the harness is over this little hook on the splitter plate. If it's not, it will come off very quickly as you go to pull it tight or it will come off in a crash. So again, make sure that it's over that hook. Make sure you do one side at a time because I've gotten myself into situations before where I've gotten, tried to do it really fast and I've taken both sides off and then I've forgotten which set of slots I'm supposed to put it in. So either take a picture or just do one side at a time so you have a template. So again, once you get going, you know, you can do this in like 45 seconds to um, a minute. So it's super fast, super easy. Okay, turn the seat around and you are good to go. Always double check that the harness pulls smoothly. So pull it tight and then pull it loose. And then if you want to replace your padding, go ahead and replace your padding. These pads are required use from four to eight pounds. So if you have a small infant that you're putting in the seat, you must use this four to eight pounds. Otherwise, optional use only. So you don't have to use this after the baby weighs eight pounds. And so we'll put Romeo in. Just do this real quick. Hey, Rome. Does anybody else talk to their dolls? I mean, he has such personality. Okay. So we'll tighten that up. Make sure he's sitting squarely in the seat. Bum is all the way back. Pull all of the slack out of the hips. Pull up here, snug it up. If you want, you can pull it from the back too. So you can see how by pulling from the back, I can get quite a lot of slack out. And it's fairly snug already, so it's kind of hard to grab. So you can see how I can pull it here. Okay, and then buckle the chest clip. And like I said, it's already snug, so it's gonna be hard to buckle this chest clip. You know what, it's a little too snug. There we go. And there we go. Make sure you can't take a pinch above the chest clip, right at the shoulders. And Romeo looks pretty good. And that harness is, let me take this off. Okay. And when this padding is off, I can actually tighten the strap up a bit. So there we go. At or below his shoulders. 
Alrighty. So that's how you change the harness height on the Maxi Cozy Coral XP and really any car seat that has a splitter plate like that on the back. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Car Seat Vlog.